Okay, let's get started. So... This is it. That's right. Phantom Thieves going by train. <laughs> this ain't any different from how I get home from school, you know. The train is the fastest way to go. Plus, we can bring pets on here. Hey, who are you calling a pet? Dude, be quiet! We didn't pay the pet fare. I'm the one guiding you to your destination. You should be calling me Master. Oh, Kitty! Shoot. Is that your pet, mister? I heard it meowing. Yeah, it's just a toy. It meows when you press on its head. You heard her. Press on its head. This is ridiculous. Seriously? The next stop is Shibuya. Shibuya. Doors will open on the left side. Oh, this is our stop. Well, see you later. Bye-bye. So, which line do we got to transfer to? Doesn't look like there are any stations close by to that address. If anything, this is the closest station. What? And we gotta walk the rest of the way? What kind of phantom thief takes the train and then walks to their destination? 
Stop your complaining. It's supposedly a shack, but this is the neighborhood he lives in. As expected of a famous artist. Looks like the fastest route is to get to the station square and then go to Central Street. Let's move. Mashida, former Olympian, teacher at Shujin Academy. Reason for turning himself in is uh, a heavy conscience, huh? The human mind doesn't change that easily, let alone their natural temperament. Oh. Shujin Academy. Seems doubtful. Perhaps I'll have someone look into it, just in case. Is that it? We're at the right address. The door plate does say Matarame. Uh, you ring the bell. Me? The walls won't collapse when I do, will they? No one sneeze or we'll blow this house down, okay? Who is it? Sensei is currently... Um, it's Takamaki. I'll be right out. People really do live here. takamaki sir. You two are here as well? Hey. Sorry, but, uh, we ain't here to talk about the modeling thing. There's something we gotta ask you. Is it true Matarame's plagiarizing stuff? He's abusing people too, yeah? Are you serious? We read about it online. This? <laughs> Preposterous! Not only is the plagiarism impossible, but abuse? He welcomes pupils into his own home! This is no act of violence, it is charity! And I'm the one residing here and studying under him. I'm saying it's not true, so it's beyond doubt. You might be lying about it. That... that is utter rubbish. I had no family when Sensei took me in and raised me into what you see now. If you continue to ridicule the man I owe my life to, you will rue this day! You really think that? Yusuke? What's the matter? I heard you yelling. These people are slandering you with baseless rumors! Forgive them, Yusuke. They must have heard some bad rumors and came in worry for their friend's safety. <sighs> Understood, Sensei. Well, even I doubt that a cranky old man like myself could be liked by everyone. That's not what we meant. I'm sorry to have butt in on your conversation. However, I do have neighbors around. Won't you please keep it down? Now, if you'll excuse me. <clears throat> that was discourteous of me. I'm sorry. I know. I think you'll be able to believe in Sensei if you saw that painting. It's his maiden work, as well as his most representative piece. It's titled Sayuri. Sayuri? This was the painting that inspired me to become an artist. So beautiful. I don't know all this fine art stuff, but even I can tell that this is impressive. 
When I first saw you, I felt the same powerful emotion as when I saw this painting. Me? I wish to pursue beauty like this. And I believe drawing you will be part of that pursuit. I implore you, seriously consider my offer. I'm sorry that you took the time to come all this way, but I must assist Sensei today. I hope that we can discuss this further another time. If you'll excuse me then. Those two seem like nice guys, don't they? Maybe the Matarame we heard about in Mementos is a different person. Man, right when we thought we found a new target, too. How's the MetaNav? Oh. Hey, the app. Was it picking up our conversation? This display. It means that Matarame has a palace, too, right? But why? Matarame, plagiarism, and then Shaq, huh? These seem to be the keywords. For real, though, what the hell's going on? Does an old man like him really have a palace? We have the person's name and the location. All that's left is the what that Matarame mistakes the shack for to enter his palace. You mean, like how Kamoshida thought the school was his castle? That's right. Let's try saying some things. They can be random guesses. It's a bit sudden, though. Why don't we start with castle? No candidates found. Then what about prison? No candidates found. Ah, what a pain! Jail, a warehouse, and guidance counseling office. Might as well add farm. No candidates found. Not a single hit. Should we come back another time? A building that's related to artists. If we think from there, what would it be? Beginning navigation. Beginning navigation? Whoa, really? Hey, when did you activate the nav? You surprised me. Didn't have much of a choice. I think we just happened to get it right. What if I hadn't noticed and then wandered off and got caught by an enemy? Probably would have figured it out once you started walking on two legs. <sighs> so even you can slip into the metaverse without realizing it, Morgana? Yes. In a place with minimal cognitive distortion, the differences can be subtle. Forget that! Look! That shack is seriously some kind of museum? Let's go check it out. It's so extravagant, to the point that it's gaudy. It's a museum, right? This is Matarame's? Well, a palace is a world formed by a mind twisted by desire. Remember Kamoshida's castle? Madarame's artwork is on display at museums in reality too, though. His exhibit was popular, and people already respect him. Why would he fantasize about a museum? You got a point. It ain't related to plagiarism or abuse, either. Let's try looking around. Racking our brains here won't do us any good. Right. That aside, ain't a museum a must for Phantom Thieves? Yeah, all those old man's fans were super strong and all. That has nothing to do with this. But man, just look at that insane crowd.
Shall we go? Suspicious. Oh. Hmm. This is. This doesn't make any sense. Madarame is famous for having a variety of art styles. But all the portraits on display here look the same. This is way different from what was at the... Wait a sec. Ain't this that guy we saw in Mementos? You know, the, the one who was shit-talking Madarame? Natsuhiko Nakanohara. His name's written on the plaque. Dude, I don't get it. Why is there a painting of him in here? And more important, why is his name written under it? You're right. Doesn't art usually have, like, the title of the piece or the artist's name? Hmm, this is quite the mystery. All right, let's keep looking around for now. Hey, 
Isn't this a painting of that guy? It says Yusuke Kitagawa. There's no mistaking it. Huh? Wait a second. What do you think these paintings are? I think you're right. For real? All of them? But it was only Yusuke when we went to his place before. This must include former pupils as well. Only one remains now. Taking into account what that Nakanohara guy said earlier, things are getting clearer. All right, let's keep investigating. We need something to further confirm our deductions. Look at this! The Infinite Spring? A conglomerate work of art that the great director Madarame created with his own funds. These individuals must offer their ideas to the director for the rest of their lives. Those who cannot do so have no worth living? Hey, this is most likely about the plagiarism, right? Damn it! What a phony geezer! In other words, his pupils are his property. He doesn't even qualify as an artist if this is true. He's stealing the ideas from talented students in exchange for securing their livelihood. I wondered about those portraits on display. They must all be his pupils through his cognition. This even says that they have no worth. Couldn't this be about the abuse? Matarame will keep them around as long as they're useful to him. But the moment they're not... He's treating them like slaves or tools! Why is Yusuke keeping quiet about this? He's got no reason to cover this up! He did say that he owes Matarame his life for being taken in. But still... When we were at the exhibit, I praised one of the pieces on display. But... Kitagawa-kun acted strange. Maybe that piece was plagiarized too. What's the call? Ain't this enough to target Matarame? That's 
what I'm talking about? Hold on, you two. We should confirm these facts with Yusuke once more. Confirm what, though? It means we should get solid evidence that such crimes actually took place. What a pain in the ass. Besides, there's too much we don't know about Madarame yet. Mm, you're right. I'll try contacting Kitagawa-kun. I might be able to get the truth out of him if I accept his modeling offer. Wait, you're gonna do that? You all better come with me, okay? I'm scared to go alone. Famous, renowned artist, huh? Oh, this might be tougher than Kamoshida. Well, we'll just prep ourselves until we get confirmation from Yusuke. This is our first mission as real Phantom Thieves. We're gonna succeed no matter what. Thugs. You don't know either, huh? It ain't like he thinks it is. It pisses me off just thinking about it. Good people have to put up with so much crap while, while shitty adults do whatever they want. Makes me sick. I'm not wrong, am I? I called you, by the way. Uh, seriously. Well, see you tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> 